Neil, and today I'm going to be talking to you about gradient descent, the magical algorithm that can get closer to a favorable line every single iteration. If you cannot catch on to what I'm saying, go back in my data science course data science course and review all the videos. Come back to this one. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about an algorithm called gradient descent. So, imagine you're in a two-dimensional world and you have a, a mountain, right? The normal mountain. And you want to get to the lowest point, which is over here. So you're a skier, and you have been positioned on the top to ski. Let's say by a gondola on this side, okay? So, you as a skier, what you need to do is you need to get down here. You can't just pos you can't just stand and push forward, because then, cause then you, you have to keep on tilting it, because otherwise you, you'll just be... You, your snowboard will get stuck. So you have to calculate the angle, calculate the angle, calculate the angle. You take a baby step. Baby steps are repetitive. So you keep on calculating the angle and taking baby steps until you get down here. So this is a two-dimensional skier. But if you add another dimension here, if you add another dimension, then let, let's see, say your mountain's like this, then you're, you're, a, ski, you're, you're a skier over here, then you, you can move in, an, in infinite directions. You can move in all these, these directions. So what you, to, to go all the way down, there might even be different parts. You might, there, there might be something here. And if you're here, then it, you, you can't go up, let's say. Then you would go down and, and you would reach and you, you, you would reach all the way down here. But if you're positioned here, then you would go down here. So, so you, you have, and you have this mountain. You might come down here. You want to, you need to calculate which is the best which route takes you the steepest down? Let's assume that you're an expert and you just want to have the funnest, quickest thing down so you can find the steepest. So your steepest might be this one at first, but then you might go this way and then this way and then this way. So you could end up anywhere because there might be a depression here, there might be a depression here because this is three-dimensional. So. As we talked about earlier, depending on where you start, your ending point will be different. And that counts for a fact that gradient descent is partially is random, right? So it'll get you to a point where it will work, but it's not the best possible thing. So many, we might talk about this later, but many things or too difficult to exactly have. So you just need to do something that works for you. So, let's say you're doing height and weight. So weight would be a function of height. So you have A and B, which are two coefficients, which you set. So W would equal A, times height plus b. a and b are different. This is assuming that if you have a graph and you have a scatter plot and you're plotting only a line. This equation is only for a line, but you can have ever complicated equations for anything else. That will be for later. But if you have this, you need an error function. That will you, you need an error function that will that, that will that will you have this and you, you have many lines one two three and you can find out which one's the best using your error equation by saying how far away the given height height point is for the the weight point that you find out. So as you should know if you've 
watch my course, then you the goal of data science is to find a an equation where the error is less than what the air what what the error function requires. So the error function will find out the error and it'll say I need the error to be the average error to be less than zero point zero one. So you want to find a line where the error, the overall average error is this. So now we come to now, note that this is just an analogy. This is not ex what gradient descent is, but this is an analogy and it'll help you a lot later. So, you remember this three-dimensional graph we talked about later, um, earlier? So, you have a mountain, right? And there, there are different depression points, right? So, depending on if you start here, or here, or just left of here, then you'll land at different spots. And to the three-dimensional, there can be a depression here, and so on. But now the thing is, what is this graph? According to gradient descent, it is the error A and B. So you want to find the lowest point because the error is the the the, the z-axis. And the z-axis, the lower you the lower in height, the more close to zero. You want the error more close to zero. So that's why you so like in gradient descent, this is the ideal point. But you can even go here. You, you can go here, even here, which is it will work, but it's not that good. So now you have something less uh you you have this graph depending on what your error function is and what your weight, what uh, your what you have instead of weight and height, then uh, the possibility the graph here will be different. But there's infinite possibilities for all of these. So think about it. You could change it by the hundredth decimal place, the billionth decimal place, and so on. So you would have to create this to make this graph. So. This is an analogy about gradient descent that will help you a lot when, when, I when I teach you the real, actual algorithm of gradient descent. So, this is basically what you're trying to do in gradient descent, except it's tweaked a bit. Uh, uh, it's, the way you do it is different because it's a computer. The computer doesn't have a brain. It only knows how to follow instructions. So. My name is Neil Kumar, and make sure to continue watching my videos on data science, and there are many other topics. Bye.